Today, I bring you an example of what is known as kismet. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am Harbinger, the Pentagenarian, and I was just finishing up my reaction to the newest Fawn song, and I mentioned Azam Ali. So I did a quick check, and just a short while ago, Azam Ali has uploaded her most recent music video. So I'm going to react to that as well. Azam Ali has an amazing voice. She had an album several years ago that got a lot of airplay. Um, I don't remember the exact name of the album, which is my fault, but you'll recognize her voice from the soundtrack of 300. She is, I want to see if I can get this right now, I believe she is Persian or Iranian and was raised in India. For some reason, that is what's ringing the bell. Um, I might be totally wrong about that, but I'll let you know at the end of the video. But her voice is absolutely astounding. So I'm going to stop yammering. And if you've never heard Azam Ali before, this is your opportunity to listen to and experience one of the most amazing and most beautiful voices I've ever heard. So here we go. This is Azam Ali with Mastan. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited about this, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. I think the main thing that I get out of Azam Ali's music is there's emotion in it. I don't know what she's saying. Um, and it doesn't matter because I could listen to that and it'll put me in a trance. Her music, her music, her music, wow. Um, her music and voice are transcendent. 
She writes her own music. She's a member of the band uh, Niaz, which they do interesting uh, cross-cultural type of pieces. But Azam Ali herself, um, the songs that she's probably best known for are Endless Reverie and 41 Ways. I recommend that anybody who's ever not heard of her maybe look those songs up and listen to them. Because if you're ever looking for music to take you into an almost trance-like state, I have yet to find a voice that does it quite the same way that hers does. Um, it is it is a different level. It is a different type of singing. A lot of what she sings, you know, on Endless Reverie and 41 Ways, they're a very, um, I don't want to use the term seductive, but it, they're, they're a very um, enticing, and it, it kind of draws you into the sound of her voice. And I think that's one of the things I enjoy most about her is there's almost a mystical quality to everything she does. So, again, I am fascinated by it. Um, I am guessing that Mastan means enraptured, as per the title. And, uh, oh, I did promise that I would look into her, her origin story, so to speak. So, I'll be right back. As promised. Um, yes, I was right. She was born in Iran and raised in India. And I guess she's currently living in Los Angeles. But the cross-cultural influences of those, uh, of that life and living in that part of the world is definitely something that's had a big impact on her sound, I think. Uh, absolutely fascinating and mesmerizing. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you do, I would ask that you click like, um, perhaps even subscribe. Go through some, go through the different playlists I've got. See if there's anything else you like. I do have a Patreon that's uh, as little as a buck a month, up to a twenty-five dollar tier where you can make requests. Quiet, and of course subscribe if you enjoy this. Um, leave a comment below. Um, tell me what you think of her. Think of her voice. Think about what I'm doing here. So. I'm going to stop there. You guys, I want everybody out there to take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. Don't be a dick because the world has enough of them. And of course, until next time, bye-bye.